We'll guide you through how to add and set a password on a Windows 11 PC or laptop. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. It's a really good idea and it's important to go and do this because otherwise anybody can just go onto your computer and access all of your files and data. So if you go and add a password, this means it goes and adds a layer of protection to your computer as it needs to go and be entered in order to go and use it. It's really important you go and do this. As well as that, you can also go and be used across your computer for other applications for securing it. For example, in Google Chrome, you need to enter it to go and view your safe passwords there. So to go and get started with this, you want to come to the bottom of your computer. Go and find the Windows Start button and you can go and click there. You'll see this pop up and you need to go and find settings. You can always go and press search at the bottom and type in settings as well and we can open them up. Now in here, you want to come over to the left and find the option for accounts, you just hit. Now there are two different ways you can do this depending if you want to go and start using a Microsoft account. So what you could do is go and sign in with a Microsoft account on your computer and then you'll be using that account to go and sign in. So use that Microsoft account password. This means your computer will no longer be using a local account. It will instead be using a Microsoft account. So if you want to do that, you can, but we'll show you another option in a moment. So you can go and scroll down and you can find the option for your info and account settings. Then what you can do is you can go and sign in with a Microsoft account instead. So you sign into that account and you'll then be using that password for the account to go and log into your computer if you want that. But if you don't, because I don't, what you can do is come back and we can keep it as a local account, but still go and add a password to make it secure. We can go and scroll down and you need to go and find the option for sign in options. Then you need to come down here and find the option for password. You can then go and click on it like so, and you can go over to the right and you can go and press add. And then they'll be using a password to go and sign into Windows apps and services. So now we can go and choose what that password is. I'll just use an example password to keep it simple. Once you've gone and confirmed that you can then press next and press finish. So it'll go and be changed. That's it. So the next time we then go and sign into Windows, that password is going to go and be used. As I said, it goes and protects your computer. So it's a really great thing to do. And alternatively, you can always go and use your Microsoft account instead if you prefer to. So if you found this useful and want to see more, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. We've got a lot more videos like this on the channel and more to come as well. So thank you so much for watching and look forward to help you again with your next tech problem. Make sure you use Guide Realm. Have a great day. Goodbye for now.